What is going on guys, this is Chase and um, today we're going to be doing another After Effects tutorial except this time we're going to be placing text behind an object. Um, I had a request to make this video and I thought it would be a good idea to make one because it's a pretty helpful effect and it's pretty fun as well for me. Um, <laughs> so let's get started. So right off the bat you're going to want to create your text. Well, okay, so my video is my friend um, on a tricycle going in front of just a flat, you know, a uh, boarded building backdrop. And I just want to place some text in between him and the building in the background. So first what you're going to want to do is go up to your text tool and all your font and everything should be right here. If this character panel isn't open, you just go to window, find character and click to open it. But mine's already open. I'm just going to be using uh, Babis Nui font like I always do. And I'm just going to write behind. Um, <laughs> we're going to make that blue. No, we're not going to make that blue. We're going to make that hmm. Okay, yeah, we're gonna make that blue. All right, so we have our text here. It says behind. Now, what you're gonna wanna do next is go to your actual footage layer. So this is my .mov file. You're gonna click on it and you're gonna click Control D or um, Command D if you're on a uh, <clears throat> Mac. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this layer, the second layer, the duplicate layer above the new text that you just made and it'll disappear and then what you're going to want to do this is the part that takes a while is you're going to want to go up to the um, pen tool and you're going to create a new mask around the object that you want to be in front of the text so i'm just using the scroll wheel to zoom and i'm clicking h on the keyboard to pan over we're gonna, just going to use this tool and we're going to go in frame or um and pencil out our object here it doesn't have to be that precise, I mean, it's all up to you, but I'm not making mine too precise because he's moving um, really fast, so it'll be hard to catch actually, like, you know, it'll be hard to catch any mess ups or mistakes that I make during this masking process. This is called masking, by the way. Um, masking is kind of a pain, it sucks, but it's necessary if you want to pull off this effect. All right, so once you get one layer down, you'll see that like, oh shoot. You'll see that we got him in front of it a little bit. It looks pretty rough, but what you're gonna wanna do is just take your mask, you're, you're gonna wanna go to your top footage file, open it up, go to masks, open up your first mask, and you're gonna, um, gonna wanna keyframe the mask path. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go forward one frame by clicking page down on your keyboard or going to, uh, where is it, preview, going forward one frame. And you're literally going to take your mask and you're going to move it and adjust it accordingly and you're going to want to do this for every single frame that your object is in front of the text. So let me speed this up while I finish this and then we will continue with the tutorial. Alright so after you finish that we've got this right here and that looks a little rough I mean you can see all these edges actually it looks really rough so what we do to fix this is we're gonna feather the mask so you go into your masks tab or into the um, <clears throat> layers you go you know movie masks mask one and then you jack up this um, mask feather and it's good to go in and unselect your mask so you can see what it's doing and let's see if we go about four it smooths everything out 
Actually, we can probably even go lower because we're getting that little blue edge right there. Um, so, <laughs> honestly, if you can look close enough, you can still see that blue right there. And that's just because I was being lazy masking. But if you really take your time to refine every edge, um, <clears throat> you'll get this result. Here, let me refine this real quick. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. And then the final step to this effect is just to go in and tweak things that you think don't look good so that the effect is really sold when you're actually putting it into your video, your edit, or whatever. And with that, you're pretty much done. You can go beyond just this, but this is the basics. This is how you get an object in front of text. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, again, my name is Chase Diopsmer, and new Sundays here every week, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next Sunday.